Hello everyone and welcome to the Residual Hot Roundtable discussion featuring the Phantom Family. I am Bryce and with me is my Morticia, Ashley. Oh my god. And our little fiends, Leo and Spencer. Now during these roundtables we will discuss paranormal things and today we will, we will discuss a location that almost all of us have been to. Myself and Ashley multiple times. A place where the cornerstone was set in April 1st, 1922 and officially closed on May 3rd, 2002. I'm, of course, talking about the 80-year-old schoolhouse for our... Now, Spencer, I'm, I know you've never been there before, but you can chime in whenever you have something mm -hmm. to add. I don't have anything. I mean, I think you've seen pictures, though. Yeah. Like the, when Is that the practice? place with the fans where they're, like, true? No. No, that's Edinburgh. Yeah. yeah. That's the one that's... Um, I don't remember. But that. So I've been there, gosh, five or six times, if not more. You've been there two or three? Two or three times. What, are you one or two? One. Only one. I think yeah. when I went was like four, three years ago. I think 2020 or 2021. Yeah. Well, I was still in school. Yeah. Sorry, Spencer. It's <laughs> fine. You just had to get sick. <laughs> yeah, it was quick. All right. So, what are your memories and whatnot about Ferrar? If you remember anything, head and shoulders, man. Mm -hmm. Head and shoulders, man. Yeah. Yeah, that was the place I saw my first apparition after fifteen, twenty years doing this. He materialized in the in the doorway of the auditorium. the auditorium. Yeah. Was that when I went, or did you see it before then? No, that was, that that was the, the first time. Last time we went, yeah, mm -hmm. that was the first time I've ever seen an apparition. When Diana like grabbed me. Oh, yeah, and then you, because I was doing the Estes method or whatever in the corner. Mm -hmm. For those that are curious, Diana is a friend of ours that went there post time with us. Mm -hmm. I, I remember one time sitting up on the, it's a three-level uh, three level school in the very top floor. We were sitting in one of the classrooms, and, like, we were just sitting there, and, like, the whole room, like, you could see it just getting dark. Mm -hmm. And we're talking, like, 10 o'clock at night, so it's, like, the sun's gone. Mm -hmm. It was already completely dark. So it was already completely dark, and this was... A long time ago. Yeah. And um, there was one time that a couple other friends of ours were sitting in a classroom directly above the boiler room, and it sounded like someone took a hammer and just bam right on the bottom of the, oh, on, the on, on the floor. They said they mm -hmm. felt it. And I had to, I don't know what happened to the recording. I'll have to see if I could find it through all like hours and hours of recording there. But like, I, I, I heard it because the, they, they freaked out. Mm -hmm. And I've never heard anything there since. But yeah, it was like a, it like echoed throughout the whole floor, just bam, you and direct, know, directly underneath where they were sitting, and that's a, those are cement floors. Those are cement I, I think they're no, they weren't all cement. I think a lot of because I remember like the floors creaking and stuff, in the auditorium and stuff, the regular floor, not on the stage. Yeah. Spencer raised his hand. Yes. I did not <laughs> raise my hand, but I remember. Um, Actually, it's funny that you say that because I remember when Leo and I think you, mom, you saw like you saw you saw Bryce like waving or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the yeah. Classroom. Oh, I remember that. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. right before it started getting dark. Yeah, I remember that because you guys were sitting at the. It was one of the classrooms, the middle floor, I think. It was the Miss Martin's Miss Martin's yeah. classroom? Yeah, because yeah, because you guys were sitting at the front, and I was sitting at the desk, mm -hmm. like kind of toward the back. Yeah, and we both thought that you were like waving at us. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they both said they saw me waving, and I was not waving. Yeah, in the back of the classroom, since we were in the front, um, there was just like a single streak of light at the very top of the ceiling, um, on the wall, and it looked like you had stood up and like waved. At yeah, because like whatever it was 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 tall. tall. Yeah, tall, very tall. And then that was when uh, Tony. Or was that? Mm -hmm. Tony, yeah, he had, he had come in and said that at some point it felt like I had like ran to him. Yeah, I remember. I remember mm -hmm. him saying that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Tony's another ghost hunting friend of ours. Yes. Yeah. Um, because at, at one of those classrooms, I remember I like there was always like I always felt like there was something going on in there. Mm -hmm. I remember other people saying that like so the people we know investigated would say that there that they saw something taller but not in there. Mm -hmm. In that corner, that dark corner. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was weird. Yeah. So I totally forgot about that until you mentioned that because I've been there so many times I can't keep straight of what all I've experienced. 
<laughs> and I I vividly remember in the auditorium when you and Diana saw the the figure in the doorway because you guys because I, I think I was watching you on infrared camera and you guys just, like started like clutching each other yeah <laughs> and then I I grabbed him for Leo because he had the headphones on and I was blindfolded in the corner you should talk about that. do you remember like anything that you heard um I do remember when we were in the principal's office doing it. There was no, because in the auditorium when I started doing it, remember I had said some names? It was like Harold or something well, like that. I don't remember. It, it said your name. Yeah, on, in the principal's on office. When I, was, when I was doing it in the principal's was office. Was that the, the blindfold one or just the regular spirit box? No, I had headphones on, yeah. but not so, blindfold. So just, just in case you're wondering, that's where you have blindfolds and you listen to, uh, was it the spirit box over and over again? Yeah. 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 The, I forget. Yeah, everyone had calls it something different. So, because I th I think you did it once in the auditorium. Yeah, and you did it in the in the principal's office. Yeah. I think uh, didn't tell me tell yeah. me did it down the boiler room. I don't know if it yeah. was the same time that Leo. I did, but that. remember when he started getting like aggressive? Oh sound? yeah, I do. Didn't you not? Gosh, like yes. I don't like the boiler room. The, I don't like basements. The boiler room was something else. Yeah, because he he start he started getting like super aggressive. Yeah, we had to pull him out. Yes, yeah. I actually felt like oddly comforted in the boiler room like thinking about it it just felt so like cozy in there do you remember um two different things actually that i remember down there i don't i don't think leah was there for either one of them but one um when i was sitting in the chair and like something hit the chair and the oh, chair yeah. like moved like the leg of the chair moved mm -hmm. and then um when we, we had the spirit box in there and like it had started talking about the principal. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, for people not in the know, uh, there were rumors that it was either the principal or that one of the janitors did some pretty uh, terrible things to some of the kids there mm -hmm. at that school. Um, so do you remember when we first got there, like we were doing our walk around and tour and stuff and like the ca the camera kept because my my camera is a camera that like, it automatically detects faces to focus on them and it kept detecting a face in the boiler room. Yes, that was and, food. and one of the little like tunnel alcove things. It, I think me and you were we were walking around yeah. before I think before anybody got there. Mm -hmm. I think that was uh, it had to have been when Leo was there, but he would no. It might have been. I don't I think it was just me and you before anybody else had gotten there because we got there early so I think I have been there three times okay. I think it was my second time and we had gotten there early and remember um I'm wanting to say that Diana called the lady and let her know that we were there already mm. and she came out and let us in. and let us in and we were doing a walkthrough because I wanted to walk through and like take pictures and video when it was still light out and so it was just me and you yeah nobody else mm -hmm. And it kept detecting that there was like a face or something. And now that, that could just be an electronic glitch because, you know, electronics do electronic things. But it's, <laughs> it was just suspicious that it was mm -hmm. out of, you know, walking around with the camera everywhere. You know, it was only doing that in the boiler room that it was thinking mm -hmm. that there was a face in that room with us. So it must have meant that, that something there was like a little bit stronger or something. Yeah. Well, and then remember, isn't isn't that the one that has the basement that has uh, where um Tony was sitting on that bucket, and there's that like little hallway behind. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, yeah, that, that's where the face was being detected was that little alcove hallway thing. And remember later, like I don't think we told him about that. And later on, he said that he remember that he thought that there was a, like a face next I, to it. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. He mm -hmm. yeah he had a lot of stuff happen over down there. Like that was the only real thing I had happen was like that that I remember was that oh what about the one time that me and you were sitting on the stage in the auditorium and we had the walkies and we heard a girl's oh. voice say hello over it yep. and diana was the only other female with us and she said that she hadn't talked over it right yeah good no because i remember that audio clip still clearly because i had it saved i think on my and i don't think here. that there it's not close enough to like any houses that it would have picked up interference from no, anybody it was out literally out in the middle of nowhere but yeah. it wasn't diana's voice no it wasn't it sounded a lot younger mm. and like almost like a teenager yeah i haven't been staring at the door i've been staring down no there. no no. i know but i'm saying that... <laughs> jesus and then we we had called over the walkie and asked her if she had said anything and she had no idea what we were talking about yeah um and then probably my my most like the most memorable event that happened 
that was again before I met you was when uh, three of our former ghost friends all saw head and shoulders man the apparition walk into the classroom because they were all sitting in that very top classroom on the top floor and the last one in the hallway last door on the left <laughs> and uh they I saw the audio like uh, on my computer but, like they were talking about how like the hallway started getting just darker and all three of them saw shoulders and a head walk into the classroom and disappear right in front of them. Do you, oh my god, I feel like I keep seeing like a shadow out there. We're just trying to understand this. Right, we're, we're not just... yelling or judging or anything else. We're just trying to understand what happened. And I bet you don't like that people know about it. But I'm sorry they do. It's not talked about, but they know. Maybe it happened to you, too. I see what you mean about the blackness, mm -hmm. Stephanie. The heck? I don't oh my God, like I'm... it. Oh, my God. <gasps> <gasps> no, you gotta shh, stop it. Shh, 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 shh. <laughs> don't do that. Stephanie, don't. <laughs> you scared me. Well, I was fine to talk. I swear, I seen, did you guys see it? No. I saw, like, a shadow, like a white, yes. myself. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm and I just got, don't like, do that. Don't float in the class. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no legs. But yeah, I have that audio recording, and they they freak out, and they're all level headed people. I think you've played that for me. Yeah, I don't know if that either one of you two have ever heard it before. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'll, I'll play it for you, but it's yeah, and they're they're you know, I want proof, but I'm a skeptical guy. Mm -hmm. Me too. And like, if you see some head and shoulders walk into a room and disappear, you're gonna freak. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they said after that happened, like the hallway got lighter again and it was like essentially back to normal. Mm -hmm. Strange. But the question is, who's the head and shoulders man? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That keeps showing up. My bet's the principal. Yeah, I wanted to say that even though I honestly know. I, I personally, because I feel like he's wearing, like when when we saw him in the auditorium, I feel like he's wearing like like a button up like dress shirt mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i would think that the principal would be the only person in the building that would be like that formally dressed i should point out to anyone that listens to this that all of our opinions are our own and not shared by anybody else <laughs> <laughs> so i i have no opinion on the matter myself because it could be literally literally anybody mm -hmm. yeah but what I saw, like, it wasn't enough to, like, really say. I just saw a head and a shoulder faintly appear in a doorway. Like, literally materialized from, like, I don't remember which direction, but it's... It, and everybody it, that was with us was in that room. Yeah. So it wouldn't have been any of our people walking in. No. People don't materialize in. Because, like, it did, like, <laughs> it did just, like, appear. It, like, started from, like, one end and, like, went down or up. I don't remember which direction, but, like, just appeared. And I think, if I remember right, didn't we even do, like, some experiments with, like, seeing where, like, like if a car had drove by, mm -hmm. where the light would have shown in. And mm -hmm. there's no possible way that yeah. there would have been any, like, flashes. Well, we were also, I think we were on the, is it on the second floor, I think? Yeah, second. It's right up the stairs. No. Or No. No, I think it's the top floor. I think it's the top floor. Yeah, so it's not like car lights can really affect the yeah. top floor. It's not at street level. No. Like, there's not even any cars that pass there anyways. There is occasionally. Occasionally. Not a whole lot. Though. Not especially in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. Out in the middle of nowhere, there's maybe yeah. one an hour of that. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of... There's been, I've, there's been... I've been there so many times I can't remember <laughs> all of it. A lot of it's like stuff that was like. Well, I've never been there, but I am like I, the next time that we go somewhere, I want to be the first one to do the S this method. I just Tony loves doing that. I love. It, it. I like it, it too. It looks really fun. It is super fun, especially like if you're blindfolded and you can't see anything, you can't hear anybody else, and then answering questions without even knowing. It's so fun to get the context afterwards of what you're mm -hmm. hearing. I, I remember right. There was one time 
uh, cuz I'm like trying to like replay everything in my mind but there's there's so much I've forgotten there was one time that cuz I don't think it, it it's there now but there used to be a little window in the like the the break room or whatever the Like the safe room? Yeah, the safe room, essentially, yeah, where you could put all your stuff. There was, there was a little window that, like, could look down into the gymnasium. It's like, even when you walked in, it was Hmm. kind Oh, of, I think it's boarded up. yeah, it's boarded up now. Because from the Like gym, on I the think left? you can see it's boarded. Yeah, but it used to be open, and I remember I when, think it's like above the bleach. Is it above the bleachers? Where the, where Or the above bathrooms the opening? are, where the bathrooms Yeah, are. the bleachers. Yeah. Um, I remember one time, like, we were, we were literally all out investigating, and I think, well, I think it was Becky said that she saw someone moving around in there through through that window. And she's like, Is anyone in the break room? And we're like, No. She's like, Well, there's somebody walking around in the in the in the safe room. Not very safe So anymore. so of course we uh we all me or few of us immediately went went over there and of course there's no one in there. It's actually a pretty calm feeling in there. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. Like who wants to hunt it? Like, because that's the old office. It's like who wants to hunt the office. <laughs> Nobody. I wouldn't want to. We go somewhere like the library or something. It'd be crazy. <laughs> yeah, well, the library kind of creeps me out. Yeah, because yeah, well, it just it just amazes me walking to that building and like how much stuff is still there. Because mm -hmm. that that building has been closed for oh those for little the like, like twenty pine years. Capsule canisters from the yeah kids. in the one room is that, I think that's in the library. Uh -huh. Maybe. But just like, I mean, like all the desks are still there, cabinets, books, Mm -hmm. you know, paperwork. Well, some of that stuff could have been brought in over time, True. too. But some of it does look like it's been there for quite a while. And still, it's just like, they just like up and abandon the building. Like, oh, we're done. What's there? <laughs> and the paint cans in the boiler room, all the instruction manuals and yeah. stuff. They look so gross. Yeah. I, I can't believe you're, I totally forgot about the waving thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That was creepy. It was. Yeah, there was just there was just something about that class, that particular classroom. And there's no way that you like even sitting down that you would have be, been able. You would to... not have reached no. that high. Uh uh. Because if I think isn't there like a like a there's a border of something at the top of the wall. Yeah, that's where that light was at. Yeah, and there like there's no way that your hand would have reached up that high. Mm -mm. We should have had you like stand up. We did remember, and it it wasn't. Mm -hmm. It didn't yeah. look the same. Yeah, you, oh, yes. you, you had me re yeah. pretty recreated it because you were both like, "Oh no, that's that's yeah, that not was, what we saw." That was not what we saw. And like, even if you did do it, like, you would have been able to prove it because, like, you would have been able to do it the exact same way. Mm -hmm. Like, if yeah. it was you, and it looked nothing. No, it was. He wasn't even anywhere near like the top of where. it was happening i do yes, i do remember one time um we were in the gym it might have been that same time and i was telling a story i can't remember what the story was now but i was telling a story that i had read online about in the gym and something happened but i can't remember what it was i remember last time we went there like they had they had officially opened up like a new area like the kitchen or something the kitchen yeah we didn't I get love to see the, the kitchen, kitchen time before yes yeah, yeah and, like we we did it during like the first walkthrough when we got there but we never i think we went in there i don't think i ever went in there so no you're you're in there with me not the first time i went no 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 the, this last time we the went last time yeah. yeah that was the first time they opened it up yeah really yeah when i went mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah it was the first time they ever let anybody in there that's awesome and that like dumbbell thing that yeah. like mm -hmm. What is it like it's supposed to keep the water cold or whatever? Yeah, the, the dumb it goes so so far down mm -hmm. in the yeah. ground. Yeah, the dumb waiter. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but like we never went back in there after the mm -mm. that first walkthrough. Yeah, we should have. I know. I I always think about that. Like I would have liked to do something in there. There was a uh, we had an old member that that was a ghost investigator with us. Uh, he 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 swears because he went outside to get a smoke during a break time, and he walked back in and he said that there was a, a apparition of a girl standing on the stairs, mm, like outside or inside. And inside, he walked right in. Did you know those stairs that go? Oh yeah. Right inside, do I go right up? He said there was a girl standing there, like right there, right in the stairs. Mm. I remember. Didn't the owner tell us that um, she had seen like a boy or something on the the stair the stairs that go down to the gym? You're right. You're right. I remember that. Yeah. But I just remembered something else when you mentioned going outside. Do you remember? Um, I think it was the last time that we went there, and uh, we had that 
team meeting mm -hmm. and we had gone outside and left for quarters mm -hmm. and then at some point while we were all outside there was that loud like bang yeah mm -hmm. and we never could figure out what it was i remember when we had taken that break and went outside um we were talking about because that was before we had gone into the principal's office to do like our yeah, session that there was to the end of the night mm -hmm. um and we had talked about how, because at the time, I think I would have been 15, 16 -ish. 15 or 16. Um, maybe even 14. Uh, but we had talked about how... I think it was 2021, so it would have been three years ago. Yeah. So 15. Yeah. Um, oh, it was like around like August that we had gone, so yeah. I would have just turned 15. Mm -hmm. So I was still like younger. And we were talking about how we might get some more activity because of me being younger and because of it being at a school. Mm -hmm. And we sure did. Because yeah. after, after we had that conversation, when we went to the principal's office. And I'm pretty sure when you did that, um, the Estes method up in there, that it had said, like, it started, like, pointing out things about me. Like, it said gay or something at one point. I, yeah, I think so. That I think that it, it said that. And then later on, it said your name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then I think you had, like, gotten really... You started getting upset because it started saying stuff that was... I don't even... Questionable. Remember. Like, yeah. that was the one and only time I've done that so far. Yeah. So... I, think, like I don't not think you... Yeah, me. I don't think you I've ever done it, so... You never told us what it what it was but you had gotten upset because it was saying some weird stuff mm. no i don't remember honestly i wish you did it like i had told us but it's been a few years yeah it, right i don't remember just because like with the history of that place and mm. the speculation and all that about the if i didn't talk about it honestly that's probably what it was about was mm -hmm. you know what what like the stories that surround some of the people that worked there. It might have freaked me out or something. Yeah. Yeah, I could probably handle it now, though, if we ever went back. Definitely. I mean, I'm curious, so. Well, at the time, I had wanted both of you guys to go, you know, mm -hmm. being, being younger and being at, like, yeah. a closer age to yeah. the children that would have been there at the mm -hmm. time. Was that in elementary school? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah, it was kind of an odd place to put a huge elementary school like that when now mm. nowhere. Yeah. Right across from a cemetery. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's weird. Yeah, that, there are a lot of people said there was this activity at the cemetery, too, but we never... Not, I don't think yeah, we were yeah, allowed to... Yeah, we weren't allowed to go there because mm -hmm. I think a lot of people... It, other people ruined it for mm -hmm. everybody else. Yeah. Because you were talking about it at the beginning. Mm -hmm. And... Because... I don't know, maybe I'm just... No throw anything out that you want to yeah. well it's just because I, th I thought that's what you were talking about but it's weird that in the same building we both had like the same experience with it going dark and everything and we all had to like leave i think that was right when we took our meeting outside if i remember right because that show was featured on or the, the school was featured on that um kindred <laughs> spirits oh yes i remember that yes, yes. Because, like, they did an episode there, and, like, they started talking about this gentleman that, like, drowned or died or something near the property, and they, mm -hmm. they think he was tied to it. We, we never heard anything about that, mm -hmm. though. Oh, that wasn't it, um, they had, like, a, a thing up in Miss Martin's room about him. Yeah. Was that what yeah. we were talking about? Yeah, they had, like, his, they had, like, his picture posted yeah. on that. I was going to mention that earlier, but I wasn't, I couldn't remember the details of it, but well, that was, like, that tall apparition. Well, and that's, that's what I was about to bring. In the corner. That's what I was about to bring. It was, like, they, like, they were saying all these stories about a super tall uh -huh. apparition that's seen in, in that room, and is that the same room that we were? Yeah, that's the same. No, I don't... no that's the same room that, that we saw the wave. Mm-hmm. Okay. That yeah, was, that, that was yeah. smart. Because that's the one that has, like, the projector and the the desk with the little ghost figure on it. Yeah. And that, um... In the front of the, um, the classroom where we were sitting. Like, as, as the teacher. Yeah, as we the teacher. Sitting. Um, looking... Because I think... To, like, the back of the class. Wasn't Diana sitting in one of the desks, too? I can't... I, I think so. He was, like, in the back corner I where... Think, we didn't talking. Pony go somewhere to isolate? Yeah he, yeah, he walked outside, and then when he came back, that's when he said that he felt like I had run at him when I literally hadn't mm -hmm. gotten up from my seat. I was, like, crouched next to you in the front of the room. Yeah, because I was sitting desk. at the desk. Yeah. And I... But, so... 
that's so that's the room that we saw the tall shadow in the back mm -hmm. and that's also the same room that has that picture of that guy uh-huh because we had asked questions about it mm -hmm. i can't remember what now because that was <laughs> several years ago but i remember i remember doing some research and like i wanted to play like orchestra music up in the auditorium because i think it was oh i'd have to like do my re-research but i think <laughs> it was like when they opened the school they had like an orchestra playing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Cause according I don't remember if we ever actually did that. No, because according mm -hmm. to their own website, uh, you know, April 1st, 2022, the schoolhouse filled with citizens for miles around an orchestra played on stage in the auditorium as a banquet served the hundreds in attendance. Mm -hmm. It says not all citizens were behind the new building with its $100,000 price tag. What year? 1922. You said 2022. Oh, sorry. <laughs> April 1st, 1922. Uh, one disgruntled citizen refused to attend the celebration, calling it a monument to the arrogance and vanity of the school board. Okay. We'll have but, to try that if we ever go back. Because yeah. it had boiler heating, electric, sun, electric lights, and indoor bathroom facilities. You would be stuck in the past, dude. Mm-hmm. Well, that was the past. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, not, not, not 2000, 1922. <laughs> <laughs> On May 3rd, 2002, like, once again, the band played a banquet served the hundreds in attendance, and sadly, the 80 year old schoolhouse closed. closed. Yep. So it was when it opened and closed, and that's why I wanted to try that. I don't think we ever got around to it. Eerie. Yeah. I wanted, I want to try that if we ever go back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go there. So, what, why did they close? Just probably because they like low attendance. Mm -hmm. Because again, it's, it's in the middle yeah, of nowhere. <laughs> Isn't it a small town too? It, it's like, it's like barely a town. It's 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 like a blip. Well, it is like like the area is called like Farrar, like and that's the area that's in. But it's like like a, like a neighborhood, I guess. Like it's really attached to Maxwell, Iowa. I don't know what that population is. Mm. Like Farrar is like a like a neighborhood. I always wonder, like, where do all of these stories come from? Like, about the janitor and the principal, and mm -hmm. like just passed down, I guess. I don't know. Like, I don't know if anyone's ever really done in-depth research. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there is anything online about like. I never saw anything, and I did the last time we went. I I did a lot of research because remember I made like the floor plans and set like put on there where i wanted the camera set up and mm -hmm. different things i wanted to do because of the research that i had done i didn't i never came across anything mm -hmm. but i'm also not like a fantastic researcher that well, has access to everything well and i remember i think the owner of the building even said that like it was spoke about those like never like anything like ever officially confirmed yeah i don't know i've i've Again, this is my own opinion, but I've always gotten feels that something, I think something happened. Mm -hmm. For sure. Yeah, like that place just gives me feels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some places just do that. Like you walk into a place or a room or something, it's just like you feel a certain way about it. And like I know like people say this all the time about like going to haunted locations, but for it being my first like actual investigation, it's like... Air just feels like so heavy in some places. Like you can tell. The boiler room. Yeah. Especially. Yeah. Especially that, that second room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All the, that little tucked away. Off to the side. Right. Yeah, that one. I don't think I've ever stepped foot in there. I want to. Like I want to be more daring next time we go. <laughs> like I want to. I want to do things. Oh, it's probably just my fear of basements. But that one is special. I don't know. The Edinburgh gave me. Gave me. Oh my god. I. I don't even want to talk about Edinburgh's basement. Oh, don't worry. That'll be a episode for next time. <laughs> I don't think YouTube's never been the correct. No, no, I want to say that on for us. Okay. I, want to I only went to that one. Little house. Oh, the, the mm -hmm. one house. Is that yeah. private? Yeah. yeah. So do you remember? Sorry. Oh. The lockers. Yes. So when there was a, I don't even remember the details anymore, but there was some point that like when I was doing the SS method, there was, it had said like yellow and then like, a number and then something about a map and then some we had asked um it might not have been the estes thing this next part but then um we had asked where the 
spirit was or whatever that we were talking to at the time and they said a hallway like outside or whatever um by lockers so when we were might have just been the spirit box in general yeah at that point because i know that yeah there's no way because I, I wouldn't have been able to ask the questions for the mm-hmm. yellow but um and then i put the pieces together because i remember in the hallway um i think it was outside the auditorium there's that row of lockers and there was uh one like one singular open locker that had a map inside of it and on the outside of the locker there was a little magnet one on the locker and it was yellow Mm -hmm. it was so weird it was so weird i was so proud of myself though it's like there's no way like no none of you have pieced this together yet like look outside there's a map in the hallway i felt so proud of myself it was so cool All right, folks, thank you for joining us. And until next time, keep hunting. I'm going to tell my ghost joke. Why do do ghosts hate the rain? Because it dampens their spirits. (laughs) (laughs) I love that one.